Ugh. It's that time of year again. It's the gayest time of the year, June. Here on the Just In Time channel, we support gay rights through and through, even out of. And Lucifer. Yep, I have all the all the homophobes in one area. You can sign them down whenever. I have all all the bats and swords and that for their heart's content. All right. All right. No problem. God, I love June. We're not talking about the political side, even though the political side should probably not really exist. It should just be a fact of life that. LGBTQ people have rights to that should not be taken away. But we want to talk about the progress of representation in pop culture, such as TV shows and movies. I'm going to get most of these from these two articles with my general knowledge on show or movie. I won't be able to mention everything on the list, so I'd recommend checking out the articles, which of course will be linked in the description below. By the way, this is not sponsored by any of the streaming service. I'm not that guy. Now let's get into it. Let's start off with a well-known one. She-Ra and the Princesses of Power is a show about the Princess of Power leading a rebellion to save her home. Remade by trans artist N.D. Stevenson, the show tackles everything queer. You can find it on Netflix. Steven Universe is, I think, the second most queer-related show to the 2018 She-Ra show. I haven't watched Steven Universe or She-Ra, but the difference is with She-Ra is I've attempted to watch Steven's Universe, but that was when I was younger and it was also around the same time I was trying to watch Ben 10 Omniverse and The Legend of Korra and I just couldn't get into them, so I just gave up on those. But I do want to give those three shows a chance again, as well as checking out Steven or Shira. Steven Universe at its core is about acceptance and love for all and what doesn't scream the queer movement more than fighting for love and acceptance? You can watch Steven Universe on Hulu and Max. <laughs> the Owl House is a show about the main character, Luz, going to a magic realm. The show has an earned a love story between Luz and Amity. I can't really say much more because most of my knowledge of Owl House comes from the Instagram cosplayer Nonbinary who does great cosplays of Amity, Hunter, and Ida. But we can all watch this show on Disney+. Plus. I'm gonna mention Legend of Korra. When I heard how it ends, it sounded to me like a last minute decision. Now I know of the argument about Nickelodeon trying to not even include it into in the first place, but I would prefer they had done it m more than the last few minutes and then comics. Why is it always comics? You can watch Legend of Korra on Netflix and Paramount+. Plus. Let's get to some movies. Jennifer's Body. Yes, the horror film. I was shocked too. It's about a demon taking over the title character, Jennifer, and she starts eating the guys at her school. So her friend figures out what's happening and tries to stop it. It's a cult classic and you can find it on Max. Now you may be asking yourself, how is this LGBTQ representation? Apparently, because I did some research into this because I haven't watched the film, but there is sexual tension between Jennifer and her friend Needy. Next movie, Brokeback Mountain. I think that's self-explanatory. Back to some shows, The Howl is about three teens in a dangerous world trying to escape it alive. The character Adam was openly gay from the very beginning of the show. You can watch it on Netflix. <sighs> Velma. Velma, the horrible show that came out this year, follows the new canon of Velma being lesbian, and the show has Daphne as a bisexual, and there might be a thing between them. I don't know, I haven't watched it yet. It's on Max. It show saddens me. Let's get back to something fun and not bad, like Velma. Hell of a boss. Queer demons. It's on YouTube. Gonna throw another film in, Moonlight is a film following the character Chiron. Uh, future Justin here. I realized that I've been pronouncing the main character of Moonlight's name wrong as well. Uh, similar to Owl House. His name is pronounced Chiron when I was pronouncing it Chiron, like the centaur trainer of heroes in Greek mythology. So, I'm gonna cut back to me but it's gonna be saying Chiron so just keep in mind his name's Chiron 
back to it. Who is played by three different actors. Travante Rhodes plays adult Chiron. Ashton Sanders plays teenage Chiron. And Alex Hibbert plays child Chiron. It is the first all-black casted LGBTQ film that won the Oscar for Best Picture. You can watch it on Max. Back to TV shows. We're talking now Chicago Party Ant. The show follows a young queer guy going to stay with his aunt in Chicago, and they're going to party it up. In the process, he learns to love himself for who he is. You can find it on Netflix. Arcane, the show that is made by the developers that settled a gender-based discrimination lawsuit the same time they made this show, follows characters from League of Legends. The Emmy-winning show is, has a love story between the characters Sabai and Caitlyn. If you want to watch it, it's on Netflix as well. Like I said, there's a lot of them, but I have the links to the articles in the description below. Also, we may be in a time where representation for LGBTQ uh, and minorities are uh, more prominent and more common, but we aren't at the end yet. A lot of states in America decided that when God said love thy neighbor, he meant love thy hetero neighbor, which is weird because I'm looking at the Bible right here and I don't see that, I just see love thy neighbor. So it's just people wanting to take other humans' basic rights away. So I do have some charities in the description below that help out LGBTQ members or and or fight for LGBTQ rights. So if you want to uh, throw some money towards them, you can. If you don't have the money, that's fine. But if you do have the money, like I said, they're down there. This isn't reverse psychology, I swear to God. Don't like to, I don't like to make people think that it's reverse psychology. I'm just saying, if you have the money, the links are there. If you don't, don't worry about it. The Watching this video is enough. I know I uploaded this video at the end of the month. Uh, I've just been working on it all month. And some of the stuff like the flag and that took a bit to come in the mail. I hope you all had. A wonderful Pride Month. There's still a week by the time I'm finishing uploading this. And when I upload this, there's still a week of Pride Month. But I hope you had a wonderful Pride Month and a safe one. Uh, as the Flintstones say, I had a gay old time. And until next video, I'll see you in the future. Bye bye. <laughs>